over here, this is a Penang Green Expo and uh, I'm exhi exhibiting our products that make in Malaysia and especially I make the whole products from Penang. And uh, this product is an um, electric scooter where it's using a uh, battery uh, without using any petrol or engine. So um, we already obtained a JBJ approval to be able to use this scooter on the road. So uh, right now uh, we are promoting this uh, electric scooter in uh, home Malaysia where this is a, a good place to, to promote our bike because it's, it's a green expo. How much do you think that uh, this will be in the market? Um, right, retailing at 10,700 uh, but we do have a financing program whereby you, you, you only pay 199 per month for 60 months to be here because we want to because of the global warming issue so we want people to exercise more then by the way of pedaling and then go for those uh, other booths and see the you know what are the things that we can do uh, for this for our world so because we have to consider our dissenter also so but the thing is today only giant is here so we will be more happier if next time other brands of the bicycles they can be here also because then only we can boost out the cycling industry. Not only that, we can only encourage more people to better to protect our environment. Oh. Get up, pop it open. Handle bars. The battery is lasting how long? And you get 10 to 15 kilometers per charge. Only takes 50 minutes to charge. You're on your way. We've got these backpacks here as well. The backpacks have extra batteries so you can go longer distance. So these are ideal for commuters to combine it with public transport. So you've got no issues with those gaps between home and the bus and the bus and the office. What is the top speed of this bike? Uh, the top speed is limited to 23 kilometers per hour so that it is still under the same rules as a bicycle. JPJ have approved it as just the same rules as a bicycle, so no need for tax and registration. So you're welcome to use it on the roads, all the footpaths. And it's actually safer than a bicycle in many ways because you've got a tighter turning circle because of the shorter wheelbase. You've got acceleration to get yourself out of trouble. And it's the only electric bike in the world which has anti-skid braking. It's got anti-skid regenerative braking, so every time you brake, it actually charges the battery and it reverses the engine, so you actually stop nice and quickly without any skidding in any weather. And if you get in any trouble, instead of flying over the handlebars like you do on a normal bicycle, you just step off the bike. So it's very easy, very safe, and the main thing is it's seriously fun to ride. It's really nippy. Very futuristic ride. It's actually open. It's a it's a competition which open to public to all the public. So some are our the one students, some are from public. Uh, and uh, what kind of uh, quality do you think is ah? Uh, it is is quite good actually. It's better than expected. Yeah. Altogether, actually, it's uh, about forty three contestants. Then this is actually the shortlisted really. Therefore, uh, uh, it's actually for tomorrow's event. Uh, it's a three R design and auction. Right. All these nineteen artworks will be. Uh, put for auction so those who like to do charity work like for donate for the uh, property hardcore then they can actually do that tomorrow what does one academy do? okay we actually the co-organizer yeah so we look for the designers to actually participate in this this uh, this uh, competition so we look for KL side and we look for Penang it's actually open to whole Malaysia lah, but we are able to get from KL and also Penang and, and also you think the uh, response for this uh, green Environment is good today. Uh, it is quite good. It's quite good. Yeah. Anything to add to green? Um, if it's based on this competition, we we did uh, see some uh, schools, children, which is uh, primary school children, we together with teachers, they actually come together to actually create some some of the artworks for over here. So it's very good to know that the school teacher actually uh, practice this type of uh, recycle uh, thinking with, with the school kids. So. Um, the demo here today at CB South, we are actually focusing on Tai Garden Kechi. Kechi is actually technology. So Tai 
uh, Kerji is actually start off with uh, from a PET. We are saying that from the PET, we can actually make up a lot of uh, items. Particularly here, we make up the uh, the dress from a PET material. And the tie is, is that we say why we say tie because uh, in Taiwan we have eighty thousand volunteer devotees who actually spend the effort to clean the bottle because in order for PET to make up the dress it need to be very pure very clean because any kind of dirt in there will cause the break uh, breaking uh, broken of the thread so in the process we need to actually have a lot of devotee to do it that's why Thai Thai in English is actually called great love right, so because of the great love of the volunteers who actually contribute and make it very clean they make up this product and at the same time, a lot of volunteers in the process of contributing, they actually, from a physical recycling, slowly move towards their spiritual recycling. It means that anytime I have a bad thought or actually they have a bad mouth, actually it's also a rubbish. So from physical rubbish, slowly when they are doing contributing it, slowly their spiritual will also become purified. So when become clean, so slowly they see their life has changed. So a lot of them actually, after they change it, they start to share the story and they actually we actually also record it and put it into YouTube. So most of the product, it actually come with a 2D ID. Then uh, in return, as an appreciation for the volunteers, when the person who buy the product, then they also can scan the 2D ID and can actually go to the YouTube to look at the story of the volunteers.